Evil Democracy is an early access political simulator that puts you into the game as a competing party between the years of 1932 and 1936, depending on which scenario you'll pick. There are three scenarios to pick, Germany, France and England. The gameplay works like this. You hire leaders in order to give you bonuses to your actions, hire journalists to write stories that put down the opposition or grow your leader's skills, publish newspapers with your journalist stories in them, hire agitators in order to win support per turn in every separate county of the country, buy anything from protests to riots in order to gain supporters that will pay you money and voters to also adopt dogmas that will all come with specific positives and negatives. Positives. The game's soundtrack is a headbanger. I opened the game back up in order to write this review and just having it play in the background is very enjoyable. It's not necessarily super easy to win. I've played England twice and didn't win a single time yet. You can control your own difficulty by selecting which party you'll run for and how much money you'll start with. Negatives. There's very little that's actually to do with historical setting. You could have set this game in year 1900s or 2000s or 2100s and it would still look the exact same way. There's no chance cards nor any historical events. It's very dry and mechanical, if you ask me. There will not be any reactions to any dogmas that you will select. You can even select two dogmas that contradict each other. Freedom of religion and all religion is banned? Running at the same time? No problem. The game also forces you to pick a dogma even when you don't want to, as it would contradict which political affiliation you have, by popping up the dogma screen every single turn. Overall, this game needs more time in the oven. Something is highly missing. Be it actual reactions to the dogmas that you enforce, be it visible reaction to you from opposition, be it some historical chance cards. What's there for the most part works well, but there's not super a lot there. I would say currently for me the game is positive, but barely. I would put it about 5 out of 10. The ability to control your difficulty, good music and challenge can keep me playing and replaying this, but the lack of anything tying it to the historical setting, the lack of any events that the, and the lack of reactions to your actions make this game too bare bones to currently score any higher.